What's up, y'all? Back out here today. Uh, gonna be tinkering on the old Cummins again. So, um, as some of y'all may know, my last video, uh, which if you haven't seen, I'll put a link right here. Um, I was on my way to church, and I was on the side of the road. My belt shredded, or well, was starting to shred on me, and that caused my transmission line to pop off and that was a big hoo-ha that day had to get trailer and truck barred and bring it home well i uh got it home all right and then when we got it back to the house we looked before we got off the trailer we noticed that there was uh some fluid looks like some fluid was leaking uh behind the passenger tire right here didn't know what that was about so cody looked inside and said that the whole inside the wheel was full of brake fluid so gonna have to see where that's coming from but uh today's i think wednesday this happened sunday uh monday it rained it rained no yeah monday it rained and just i didn't get to work on it too much because uh my youngest is teething and he's been on and off fever and all that stuff, so I've been intending him. But today, I'm gonna come back out here and see what's up. Uh, Monday, I did happen uh, to get the belt, the new belt on. Uh, my brother, he came over. I think shout out to the little brother on that one. He came help me put the new belt on. And we got to looking at the old belt. And right here. Now, the old belt looks, okay, now, it doesn't look that bad. I'll bring in the sun here. I don't know if you can see. It doesn't look bad at all. It looks... I mean, you can tell it's, it's an older belt, but it's not that old. Like, it's not all dry rider and stuff. So, people... I got some people telling me. And this could be true because uh, my AC uh, compressor has been shoddy off and on working. And it chirps sometimes the the pulley, so maybe it locked up, and that's what caused the belt to shred. But I don't know because my AC started blowing, and that's why we took the truck to church. My AC was blowing cold, this and that, and so I don't know. I'm a, I'm gonna check and see what's up with that after a while. But that's all. I didn't get to, to video that. That was a hassle, and it was just it was a bunch going on. I didn't even video that. My bad, but that's on, so that's where I'm at right now. Now, what I'm about to do is I'm gonna jack the truck up a little bit, take that wheel off, and inspect the brake caliper and all that, see what's what, see what's what, because my brake fluid is low. And that's what, yeah, my brake fluid's a little bit low. So, I'm gonna look at that. Uh, all right, well, I'll get this truck up and uh, we'll get after it. looking and I don't see a leak I see drips and wetness I see that there is a leak I just can't see where it's leaking from my guess is probably this line right here but I'm gonna need to see if I can get someone to push the brake while I uh, check it out so I'm gonna see if I can get someone to come and do that real quick. Come back. All right, let's see here. Put my little light on. Not that it really helps, but go ahead. Keep going. Push it and hold it down. I'm looking, but. No, I don't see nothing. Is that the side that's leaking? 
Yeah. Yeah, hold on. All right, go ahead and start it. Wait, yeah. I don't see nothing. Well, I'll be. Oh. No, it's it's very much brake fluid, Pop. It's leaking and it's dripping right here. Watch, come see. Oh, yeah. It's all right here. Dripping. This is water, but right here. That's brake fluid, man. Huh. Oh, my bad. I got the way. Okay. Like I see it's dripping like right here off of the the, the control line. The frame, arm. yeah. Okay. But I don't see anything wet. I know, but this, this line is soaking wet right here. See what I'm saying? That's the thing. But I don't when you pumped it, it you can see it move like it's you yeah. know pressurized, but nothing dripped out of it. Careful now your hands would get all nasty. Soap and water can do that. I'm just trying to see if maybe by yeah. twisting it or something, you know, we can see maybe a leak. Yeah. That's what, I know. I played with it, but no, I don't see no cracks or no dry rot. Here's the thing, though. I don't. It's a mystery. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh well, we'll see. You got a break. All right. Well, it came to the conclusion that it's not the brake fluid; it is transmission fluid from being slung everywhere and all that especially when we're going down the road on the trailer all that wind blew all it blew it everywhere so now i'm about to see what's the deal with this here that's my compressor pulley compressor so i don't know if that's hanging up and that's what's getting the belt shredded but we're about to find out go ahead and start it pop You had the AC on? Uh, yeah, I turned it off and then you said turn it on, I turned it on. Alright, hold on. Alright, turn it on. Or, yeah, wait and then turn it on. A diesel life. Looks to be doing good. Well, I guess to see how it goes. 
Okay, well, now I'm gonna take it down the road and see what happens. Right now, I'm, I'm gonna go while Pops here. I'm gonna run and get me some uh, brake fluid and some oil. I'm a little low. And there's Bubby. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna go do that and everything, and I'll see how it goes. And I'll update everybody on uh, the truck in the next couple of days. And I think Cody's coming this afternoon. We'll get back on the Z. So, uh, all right, well, that's it. So, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and we'll holler at y'all later. Peace.